In this video, we'll discuss how to record an electric guitar directly into your audio interface with Mixcraft. Naturally, you'll want to plug in your guitar first. And once it's plugged in, we're going to arm the track for recording by pressing arm. And we'll click on the little down arrow here, which lets us select on which input to use from our audio interface. It defaults to stereo input 1 and 2, but since I'm recording one mono channel of electric guitar, I'm going to select left channel input 1. So now we can see I'm getting input, but we're not really monitoring. You're just hearing my guitar leak through the mic I'm talking through. To hear the guitar through Mixcraft, we can click the monitor button right here. We could start recording right now by just pressing the record button, and I can play. But that doesn't sound too great. To make our guitar recording a little more inspiring, I'm going to add an amp simulator using the channel's effects insert by clicking right here. And now I can select an effect. And I'm going to use the shred amp simulator right here. And it defaults to what they call Marvel Crunch. We could edit that by pressing the edit button. And not only are we free to edit all the parameters, we can also just choose some presets up here. So let's go to full distortion. So let's hide this window by clicking X. And we'll hide this one too. And now that we've got our Mondo rock sound going, let's record. And now we can listen back to our recording by hitting play. If you're using an ASIO audio interface, you'll notice that the volume slider disappears when you hit the arm button. And the reason for this is that when you're using an ASIO audio interface, the input level is set on the hardware itself, not inside Mixcraft. But if the monitoring volume is a little loud for you or too quiet, if you press the arm button, this will actually set the monitor volume. So let's say it was a little too loud and I want to make it quieter. I can press arm button again, and now our guitar is a bit quieter. One important thing to remember when using insert effects on an audio channel during recording is that they don't print in the audio file. So in other words, this distorted rock amp simulator sound I have isn't actually in the audio file. That's an effect that's just being applied. And I'll show you this by clicking the effects insert button here. And I'm going to bypass the effect by clicking this checkbox right there. And let me move that out of the way. And when I press play, there's our wimpy clean guitar. But if I turn it back on, there's our shred amp. And what's really nifty about this is it lets you alter the sound after you've recorded. Let's say my shred amp sound was a little bit too metal. I can hit the edit button. Let's just choose a different preset. We'll go for the clap a ton sound, which is far cleaner. And you can even edit as it's playing back. <laughs> 